Hi, it's Lynette here and I have the Big Pink Super Drug Bag which can mean only one or two things. Either I've got a Super Drug haul or it is my empties. And because I've not been to Super Drug since lockdown or even ordered from Super Drug, it's my empties for April. So this month there's quite a lot of them. So I'll just take them out and I'll talk a little bit about them, let you know what I thought and um, if I would repurchase. So here we go. So the first item is by Superdrug and it was new, it was our fruity and for coloured hair conditioner in cherry and almond. Now this is absolutely gorgeous, the smell is amazing as well. I've had the cherry and almond shower gel from Superdrug before, unfortunately it stained some things in my old bathroom. <laughs> it took a bit of scrubbing to get the cherry and almond off so I was a bit worried about using this but it came off just fine. But the conditioner was absolutely lovely so I'm got I picked it up I think I got it for about a pound but I think it might be two pound two pound fifty now but there's a lot of conditioner there and I like the pump for when you're in the shower it's really ideal rather than fiddling about with bottles and what have you the next item I have here is oh my nail bay and it's the illuminating micellar water now I have another full bottle of this left but I'm actually really glad because it's such a nice micellar water and it's aloe vera, green tea, raspberry, lemon and sage but it's such a nice, um, it takes your makeup off really really quickly I love the, the it's kind of got a fresh um, smell to it as well and I would actually repurchase that but I've got another one so I don't need to I have this here, it is aloe vera and vitamin E True Shave. I think I picked this up from the Pound Store or Lidl or somewhere. Ladies Shaving Gel and it had a berry fragrance. And um, yep, does basically what it says on the tin. Next item I've got here is a regular to my channel and it's the Boots Curly Hair Mousse. And um, I picked up a couple last time I was in Boots, but this is my kind of go-to mousse. I really enjoy it. I find that my hair doesn't go too scrunchy with it. And um, my hair is currently in the process of drying at the moment, so it's still a bit... I tried a, a Revolution um, Rainbow Shot in silver. As you can see, I don't have silver hair, but it has given it a nice tone, so there's always a silver lining. This next product is Garnier Skin Active Rose Soothing Toner for dry and sensitive skin made with rose water. This is a really nice product, however, it's not cruelty free, so I won't really be going out my way to try it. You know, to buy any more, I'll use up what I've got. Um, I think I just picked it up because I'm in love with anything kind of rose. So I picked that up and um, also picked up the the cleansing um, foam cream type thing, not foam. So this next item is Faith in Nature Coconut Body Wash, 400 ml and I'm delighted to say it's vegan and it's cruelty free and it's made in the UK. This, um, I picked this up from a latest in beauty selection and it was 400 ml so I was kind of quite um, quite blown away by the size of it for, you know, for latest in beauty. They're brilliant at this. Any other box you might get a small sample um, or certainly a smaller size. So this is natural, 99% natural origin, no SLS or parabens. And um, yeah, it was nice. It was a funny kind of grey colour. That was the only thing. The colour was a bit off-putting if you look down to the side. But it was a nice, it had a nice, I love coconut, but it had a nice fragrance and it gave, um, it was nice to use. Oh, these next items here. <laughs> Apple fragranced sheet eye masks. I got these from... Um, it's no longer a museum girl, it's um, Beauty Novice Reviews, Angela, um, way last year in a friend mail, but um, I hadn't actually used them, so Steve and I sat one night <laughs> and put them on, and I think he turned to me and he was like, do we have to like, right, so we're going to put this on your eyes, and he was like, oh, does that mean I have to close my eyes, I can't see the TV, I'm like, yep, you have to close your eyes, you won't see the telly anyway, I'm sticking these on your eyes. Uh, <laughs> the next one I've got is um, a body lotion by Douglas um, and I won that from Dutch Monique. She was doing a giveaway and I won that as part of a lovely little set. Um, the body lotion, which had a lovely fragrance to it as well, which was really nice. And this is one of my favourites, Patisserie de Ban Sugar Violet Bath and Shower Cream. I love the smell of this stuff. Um, Parma Violets. Um, it's what it reminds me of. I know it says Sugar Violet but it's absolutely gorgeous. 
and it's a really good size. I picked this up from the pound um, from Poundland. Um, every now and again they had things like that in, but I've not seen them. Um, I haven't seen them in a while, so um, I still think I might still have one of those left, hide and lurk in a way. So this is another one that I bought from a, I think it was Latest in Beauty. It's Garnier Ultimate Blends Soothing, um, Smoothing Hair Foods Coconut and Macadamia. So it's a three in one mask for frizzy and unruly hair. It says, yes, it's vegan, but it's not cruelty free. So that, I don't like that. It's biodegradable formula, dermatologically tested, plant oils, and it's got no silicones for a natural feel. Now, when you've got a curl, you don't want silicones in your hair. Um, but what it did was a three in one, so you could use it as a conditioner, you could use it as a mask, and you could use it as a leave-in um, conditioner. And it had a lovely smell to it. However, I will try and look for something that is cruelty free going forward. Um, I am trying to be more careful in what I buy. This next one is the one of the next parts of the set that I won from Dutch Monique. It is the shower gel and that was lovely as well. It was nice to actually use them both at the same time. The shower gel and the body lotion. And this is an old favourite. It's Soap or Jupiter and it's the Fruity Green Tuberose Body Lotion. Um, and it's got um, pineapple fruit acids and shea nut butter, 98% natural ingredients, uh, no parabens, colours, mineral oils, SLS or SLES. 350 mils and again, I think I got this from Latest in Beauty and Super Duper is one of my kind of favourite brands as well and I hope it is cruelty free because it says water aid here. I can't see the little bunnies. Oh. No, I can't see the little bunnies. I'm assuming if I can't see the little bunnies, it won't be cruelty free. It might be cruelty free in this country and that they won't do any testing in the United Kingdom. But if they sell abroad to companies that by law will test the products, they can't use that cruelty free logo, which is a shame. But you know, they either decide not to sell in these countries or to have the cruelty free um logo on their packaging well i'm disappointed by that actually but maybe somebody can tell me if it is cruelty free or not joe smith you're the one that always tells me things are cruelty free or not oh this next one i was delighted so it's um treacle moon peach infused bath salts white grape and peach and um, i was absolutely delighted i was contemplating just going on their website and ordering the bath salts because i've seen everybody else get them and um we were in um aldi it was around about valentine's day after valentine's day in february and um i spotted them so i picked up a few and i've gave um i've given a couple away but um that was because i've been really nice because i absolutely love these but you want to treat somebody, you have to give them things that you like. This next one is bubble tea, hibiscus and acai berry tea, restoring hand cream. I got that from my good friend KD and um, in a, a mail that she sent me and it's gorgeous. It's infused with essential oils and um, I, I popped, there was three, so I popped them in the, like the, the bathroom and the ensuite and the, the, the cloakroom. Um, and that is the first one that I've finished. And that was actually downstairs, in the downstairs room. Um, just the smell and just the feeling. It's such a nice hand cream. Now, this is one that I had in my cupboard for a wee while. It's Grow Gorgeous Thickening Hair and Scalp Mask. Now, I don't need to thicken my hair, but as a scalp mask, it's a really good product. And um, I really do like the Grow Gorgeous brand. It's from the Hut Group as well. These are the guys that do like the look fantastic and glossy box. And it says made in England. So yep, I really enjoyed that. Now this is not part of my polish panning. However, I find this in a makeup bag. It's all dried up and dried out. It was part of a, I think it was Sex in the City nail varnish set that I got from my friend Heather. And the colours were gorgeous, but it's all kind of used up. Um, so yeah, I definitely had a wee check, make sure there was nothing in it. So yeah, it's all kind of used up. Um, but it was a really nice red as well but because it's not part of my panning project I've just popped it in my empties 
Oh, this is one of my favourite brands and um, it's an Australian brand, I think, Jarlique, and it's a foaming cleansing cleanser with hydrating Rosa Gallica and um, I absolutely love this stuff. It hydrates, protects and smooths, so it's a, a, a face cleanser, but it's really nice and um, it just feels really gentle and uh, yeah, if, yeah, I think I really should look into getting that full size once I finish up all my other <laughs> skin cleansers and things like that. If I use a cleansing balm um, or an oil, I always like to use a cleanser afterwards. And I, I don't know what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do anyway. Oh, this next one, uh, I think I got this from Bryony. It's Body Fantasies in Japanese Cherry Blossom. Now, you, if you know me, you know that I absolutely love cherry blossom, anything cherry blossom. And um, at this time of year, I'm actually missing getting out and seeing all the trees. Um, we had to drive to Edinburgh to pick up my prescription and just looking at all the trees and blossom. It's my favourite time of year and I wish they would actually stay and blossom all year round. But obviously we can't have that. But just looking at the blossoms, it just makes your heart sing. It really does. So I've got a couple more items here. This one is a product that I've finished. Again, it wasn't in my panning project. Base coat, top coat and nail hardener all in one by Barry N. I would use that generally more as a base coat and um, sometimes as a top coat. It gives a lovely shine to polish. And what I found is if I put a top coat, it's usually the Sally Hansen one that's quick drying. People always say, oh, what have you done? Oh, have you had your nails done? Because it's got such a nice shine to it. And this is one that, um, the, the Polar Hand Cream, now it's only a little kind of, it's little but it lasts, it lasted a long time. My husband was working in the hospital um, and he's got a new job now, but he was using the hand sanitizer and washing his hands like more than ever, um, as you can imagine, working in the hospital and his hands were really, really dry. So I did, I broke out the Polar and um yeah, really, really, really helped his hands. In fact, that's why I finished up this one as well, because he used the hibiscus and a Kai Berry tea one. Um, so those were one, one was it? One was in, like, one was on him and the other one was at kind of, like, at the side where he sits when he got in. And this next one is a little sample, but it's Valorga Oxygen Glow Eyes and Super Smoothing Radiant Eye Cream. I love eye cream. Um, and that was a nice eye cream. The is quite an expensive brand. Um, and I've still got quite a few. I would purchase it. Um, yeah, I definitely would. So last but not least, it's the I Heart Revolution, the Rainbow Shots Colour, Shampoo and Conditioner in one. And it's supposed to give you a silver angel. Um, last one to three washes. This is vegan and cruelty free, which I love to see. And it did say, you know, don't use it on anything that's other than dark kind of blonde for max, like that's the maximum color you could use it on. And I wasn't really inspecting very much, but all I think it's done is it's toned my hair well, um, it's made it slightly darker, and it's made it look more all one color. Um, but I am kind of going to go on the website because this was all they had because everybody was dying their hair pink. Um, this was all they had. Um, so I want to go and try one. This is just completely temporary, wash in, wash out. But I want to try more of a semi permanent one. Um, so can I watch this space? I'll do more videos. I did a video for this, even though I tried it in the shower and it just did well. I think it didn't really do any more than this. And I thought I would try it again on dry hair because I've seen some people do that, if, um, which is not the instructions, but I thought I'll give it a try because it's just a wash in, wash out, what's the worst that could happen. Um, and I thought I'd do the video, just be completely honest about it. If you've got light hair or pre-lightened hair, you're gonna get the maximum results from these products. For me, it just acted like a nice toner, which wasn't a bad thing. Um, so, you know, if you've got very light hair or pre-lightened hair, you might find it works better for you. They didn't kind of say it would, you know, they didn't say it would work on my kind of hair, but I just thought with the blondes, um, with the highlights, with the blondes, with the grey, I thought oh, I'll try it. But um, yeah, it's kind of made my hair all kind of one shade, which is quite, quite, well, quite a bad thing anyway. It's a wee bit darker, a bit duller. But um, yeah, I'm going to get on the website and I'm going to try some more colours and um, yeah, I'll do some more videos on that. And I hope you enjoyed the empties. They're one of my favourite videos to watch. 
um, and they're one of my favourite videos actually filmed because I love going through and seeing what we've used. Last month I was laughing because there was no shower gel because we would either all kind of like still had a little bit in them and my son he is using up all his Christmas shower gels and they're all boys ones and by boys ones I do mean for men <laughs> they're not like the kind of fruity ones um so they're not fragrances that i would use so i'm not including any of his um shower products or that you know you got quite a few link sets that kind of thing for christmas the l'oreal for men um some of them if they've got a nice citrusy smell i like them but if they've got that kind of you know what i mean that kind of lynx man smell it's just not for me at all i'll stick to my fruity my floral my sweet um i'm happy my citrus is my all-time kind of favorite ones um so yeah anyway thank you for watching i can't believe we're nearly at the end of um well the end of april when i'm putting this up we're, we're almost at the end of april while i'm filming this um yeah let's just hope that it speeds through and the weather stays as beautiful as it has been and um i'll speak to you all soon guys bye